Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Chrysler Nationals. If you want to see some great Carlisle events, check out the description in the text and the video, and you can see where the Carlisle Events website is, and come check that out. I met David Hill. David, are you having a good time? I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. doesn't get better than this. So, David, tell me, what uh, year, make, and model car do you have? This is a 1969 Chrysler 300 convertible. Chrysler 300 convertible, stay right there and come on right alongside me okay. and tell me how long you've had this one. I acquired this in 2012. Um, was not the beauty it is today. This is one big white beauty, that's for sure. My, my painter told me a lot about that. How many 300s do you see? Um, now we've got an owner's association and we have quite a few within it. Um, BMV estimates there are 511 drivers left out of 1933. Wow. I gotta keep going back to get all of that in. Okay. That has quite the presence. I got a picture, I actually did a uh, video shoot at the IMS and it was, uh, yeah. I have the Speedway Museum in the silhouette background. What's, what's the reaction when you're driving this one? For everybody that knows, if you love a big car, you just they just fall in love with it. If I get gas, it's not five minutes, it's 15 to 20 or 30. Because <laughs> they got to talk about it. Well, they've never seen one. Exactly. It's been quite some time and they didn't spare any time with the 300 on the back all the letters spelled out and look at the size of that quarter along with that stance now the one thing too with the Chryslers is they had that little tip up right here it tips right. up usually the Dodges were flat yeah this was a Chrysler in Newport only which one is the higher level, the 300 or the... 300 was the top because... 300 is the top. And in the convertible model, the 300 was your best car. The New Yorkers were not uh, convertibles. Oh, uh, the Newports? Newports were the entry level, and yes, they are. I've seen a couple. Got it. Newports in the middle, New Yorker... Excuse me, New Yorker in the middle, Newport is the bottom, and here we have the 300. Let's uh, open the... Uh, we got some trunk and treats. Now, it didn't have duels originally, did it? Uh, that's where it gets a little uh, fuzzy. The more research I've done, the more uh, I was able to confirm, but, but not in uh, but no, uh, written documentation, all the high performance 440 V8s were dual exhausts. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right, so this was, this is a period correct ad. Announcing your next car. I'll see if I can get that clear. The great new Chrysler. And this is a little postcard. And then this was your brochure. Interesting how it's all black, all black, very, very luxurious looking. The New Yorker, very nice photos. The New Yorker two door hardtop, quite the seat in that. Looks like a living room. People go through that. Hopefully, they can pause on some of that. The wagon. 
town. A country girl with the horse, usually with the wagon. Sure. Nice. Show us how it opens up. A little airflow, actually. That's quite the outfit. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh... Welcome, honey. I'm home. <laughs> Well, that was back when I was almost out of high school, so... Uh, so that was the way the girls usually stop by your house, David, just like that? Uh, maybe not maybe exactly. Not. When I had my Sports Fury GT... Uh, nobody, Definitely. Nobody got nobody got the car, but they thought it was cool. Yeah. That's great. And then the top of the line, well, that's what we have here right now. We were going to go boating, but why go boating when you have a 300? You have your boat already with you. I'm actually doing a show in Indy out at, out at a boat dock. Is that right? Uh, yeah. And the guy said, he goes, why would you like to? And I go, well, I think I could dress up the boats a little bit. That's for sure. I said, how many how many boats have you got out there that have, uh, that have a lot white at them? And I thought, I think that would just fit in the background. The Newport Custom. The pictures are great. I was very fortunate. I found that by, I was actually looking for wear apparel. And uh, you found it. And I stumbled into this uh, posting and I thought, oh, I'll take a look. And uh, man was most generous. That was great. More great photographs. Newport. Uh, the photos are great. This is a book. Yeah. Well, I want something with authenticity. Yeah. So that uh, if you don't want to be caught telling a fib when uh, you weren't aware that you were, so. <laughs> I yeah, what, well, I, to your point, I like the trunk and treat specifically because of that, because then it eliminates questions on colors and things like that, because you go, hey, look at the brochure. All right, we can close that. Very good. Thank you. Nice. May I open the interior? Thank you. So we have a large door with a great presence. All power. The 300, the bucket seating. The nice. console option was very rare. Most most individuals opted for the Betty seat. And uh, when I uh, acquired this car, I got quickly on the web to see if it should have had a console, and I got a definitive yes. I'm going to give you that for just a moment. Okay. Just good. Thank you. That's how I don't lose my camera. No. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Seventy thousand. Not bad. Yeah. I uh, when I acquired this the, car, it had sixty-one. The eight-track. Nobody can have an eight-track without, without three-dog night. There you go. Except on the car. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we can expect an automatic. Let's take a look under the, uh, the key there. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Sure. Thanks. Let me just show that. Now, is that the, the, the Newport emblem? Is that the Newport emblem? Uh, no. Okay. No, Different not. emblem. Got Different. It. That, that was what they called the base entry steering wheel. Gotcha. Okay. There were much nicer ones. But according to, uh, for this car, everything as you see it is how she was made in 1969. Gotcha. Same with under the hood. I've, I've placed harnesses, hoses, routing of plug wires, heater hoses. This is to honor the period correctness of 1969. We'll actually have to make sure we open... When we turn the car on, we'll do that next. Okay. In a second, we'll uh, make sure that we... Uh, the Chrysler TNT 440. 
That's got to be the top engine. It is. It, uh, how, uh, Chrysler Corp marketed. If you had the performance motor in a Chrysler, you had a TNT engine. If you were, uh, had a Plymouth with the high performance 440, it was a Commando. And if you had a Dodge, it was the Mag. God. That's great. Thank you for sharing that with me. But, uh, Right, well, let's uh, let's start it up. Sure. We'll actually start it with the hood open. I'll walk to the back. We'll step on the brakes for a moment, David. Sure. We'll let it idle, and then we'll give it one rev. But come out and shut the hood, if you would, and then we'll make sure we get the uh, hideaway headlights, too. Wow, very smooth. I had it just got a blast of heat. That's, that's when you get a, a number matching hardware to the oil pan. Everything works in harmony. It's running real smooth, isn't it? Alright, let's, uh, let's close the hood and we'll... Uh... Let me have you step on the brakes when you have a moment. across the bed. Well, that is a real nice presence. Let me listen to it idle for a second. I didn't notice this at first, but those are quite nice. Can you put it in reverse for just a second? Put it in reverse for just a second. Sorry, nice reverse lights. All right, we'll put it back in drive. Those are nice reverse lights. Let's give it a rev, shall we? One more time. Now I see why they call it a 440 TNT. Let's, uh, can we, they're the headlights uh, vacuum operated? Close those. Very nice. David, come on out. David, stay right there. Yes, sir. What a treat to have you on the channel. What an amazing car. This high end, very large Chrysler. So amazing. Thanks for all the knowledge that you shared with me today, too. I learned quite a bit, and I'm sure the viewers did, too. David, thanks for being on my car story. Uh, I'm, it's been a pleasure. I have followed you for many years Thank because you. I like your authenticity of getting it uh, out to all of us car collectors. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you.